What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we have an awesome easy recipe. It's so comforting, especially for these cold days that we've been having lately. I know everybody would definitely enjoy this easy, delicious recipe. Today, we are going to making some keto chicken pot pie. So let's get straight to the video. For ingredients today, this is everything you are going to need. I'm going to be using three chicken breasts. If you're somebody that wants to use boneless chicken thighs, that would do as well. For our vegetables, we're going to be using this mix of peas and carrots. If you want to keep it lower in carbs, because this is a little bit higher in carbs, you could substitute any other keto vegetable that you would like to use. You're going to want some sour cream, one small onion, some butter, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, some xanthan gum, coconut flour for our flour replacement, some chicken broth, this right here is a one third cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one cup of shredded mild cheddar cheese, four large eggs, some heavy whipping cream, some minced garlic, and for our seasonings today, we're going to be using some poultry seasoning, some rosemary, some thyme, some salt, some black pepper, and parsley flakes. First step you're going to want to do is cook your chicken breast. I'm going to be cooking mine in my Instant Pot today just because it's faster and more convenient. But if you don't have one, you can just simply cook it over the stove. All you're going to want to do is boil it until it's cooked through. I'm going to add my three chicken breasts to my Instant Pot and I did trim off any fat that you wanted to trim off. Put it towards the bottom then you're just going to get about two cups of water and fill it until it's over the chicken breast and all i'm simply going to do is season it with some salt and pepper to, right now all the other seasonings are going to come after the chicken is cooked and we add it to the pot pie if you want to add anything else you can go ahead and do that adding some salt Then you're just going to shut your lid, make sure it's on ceiling, and we are going to pressure cook the chicken breast for 12 minutes. And everything will be cooked through and then we will dice it up after. Once your chicken is done cooking, you are going to release the pressure. Once the valve has dropped, you're just going to push cancel. We're going to open it up. And you're just going to take out your chicken breast and put it into a bowl to the side. We're just going to let it cool down before we dice them. And while we're letting our chicken breast cool down, we are going to start sauteing our vegetables. Now moving on to our stove, I'm going to light my pan to a medium heat. And we are going to melt down two tablespoons of butter. Once your butter is melted down, I did dice up my one small onion. We are going to add that in. To your onion, we are going to add our mixed vegetables. Now we weren't using the whole bag since these are higher in carbs. We are only using half a cup. You're also going to want to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. And as well as some salt and pepper to taste. Just adding in some salt. Now you are going to cook this down until your onions are translucent and tender. It should take a couple minutes. After about five minutes of your vegetable sauteing, you're going to add in one cup of chicken broth. As well as three fourths cup of heavy whipping cream. Now we are going to season. You're going to add one teaspoon of your poultry seasoning. Half a teaspoon of rosemary. And just a pinch of thyme. Mix it all in. Make sure all your seasoning gets well mixed into your chicken broth and your heavy whipping cream. 
Last ingredient that we are going to add to this will be some xanthan gum. You only want to add one fourth teaspoon of your xanthan gum, sprinkle it on top. This is a thickener, so it will thicken our sauce, but a little bit goes a long way. Just mix all that into your sauce. And we are going to let this simmer until our sauce thickens. But you want to cover this with the lid because you want to retain the juices. You need a lot of juices for this recipe or else it will be dry. So let's just let this come to a simmer and thicken. After five minutes of your sauce simmering and thickening, you're going to uncover the lid. You're going to turn off the heat. Your sauce should be nice and thick just like this. Now what you're going to do is add your chicken. I did dice up my chicken into bite-sized pieces. You're going to add it all into your sauce. And all you're going to do is just stir to coat. To coat. Once you have it coated, you're just gonna leave it right here set to the side. And we are going to move on to making our crust. It smells so good. That poultry seasoning is really coming through. It just smells very comforting in my house. This recipe is so delicious and quick and easy to make. It should look something like this. And just leave it right here just so it stays warmed. And let's make that delicious crust for the top. Now to make our crust, you want to get a bowl. And to your bowl, you're going to add four and a half tablespoons of melted butter. But you do want it cooled. So what I did is melted it down and put it in the fridge for about five minutes until it's slightly cooled. You're going to add it to your bowl. Next, you're going to add your four large eggs. Now you wanna add two tablespoons of sour cream and you do wanna make sure it is full fat sour cream. Two tablespoons. Then you're just going to add a dash of salt. You're going to whisk everything together until your eggs are nice and broken apart. Just like this. Now to your egg mixture, you're going to add in one third cup of coconut flour and your one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And you're going to stir until well combined. And our last ingredients we're going to add is our one cup of mild cheddar cheese and our one third cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And you're just going to mix this into your crust mixture. And once this is mixed in, we are going to bring back over our diced chicken mixture. And it should look something like this. It should be nice and thick. Now we're going to start assembling our chicken pot pie. You're going to get any baking dish that you're going to use and to your bottom of your baking dish, you're going to scoop out your chicken. Just scoop it to the bottom and spread it out evenly. Just like this. Then we're going to add our crust to the top of this. Now with your crust, you are not going to mix it in. You are not going to spread it out. You are simply going to get some dollops like this and put it right on top. If you spread it out, the coconut flour will absorb the liquid and it will be too dry. So I like to just plop it on top in five sections, just like this. Maybe a little bit more on the edges if you have a little bit extra. You could kind of spread it out just to cover any hose, but you don't want to spread it out too much. Now once it looks something like this, we are going to pop it in the oven to bake this delicious keto pot pie. You are going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Once your oven is preheated, you're going to pop it in the oven to bake. You're going to bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. 
After 20 minutes of baking in the oven, it should look something like this. But now what you're going to want to do is leave it in your oven. And we are going to get it nice and browned. I'm pretty on top. So what you want to do is hit broil. Hit broil. And you're only going to broil it for about three minutes until it's nice and browned. All right, guys. And once it's out the oven, it should look something like this. Look at that. That just looks so delicious. And it smells absolutely amazing. Now the last ingredient we're going to add is just some parsley flakes on top. All it does is give it some color and it makes it look nice and pretty. And once you let this cool down guys, dig in and enjoy. And when you dig into it, this is what it should look like. Nice and creamy and full of flavor. Question of the day, what is your favorite comfort dish? Comment down below. All right guys, so that was today's video of our keto chicken pot pie. I hope y'all give this recipe a try with your whole family. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and I will see y'all in my next video.